Welcome to Intima. This is grade 9 and we're going to start with lesson 1. Today we're going to talk about exponents. When a number is multiplied by itself a number of times, it's inconvenient to record it in the standard form. So say if you multiply any number a by, an, by itself a number of times, it may take forever to record it like this. So we use exponent instead to represent the number of times the number has been multiplied by itself. So the way we record it is this way, where a is the base, n is the exponent, and the whole expression is called power. Now let's look at some of the important exponent laws, and we're going to start with this one. Any number raised to the exponent 0 is always equal to 1. The exception is 0. 0 to the power of 0 is 0. So any number, even if you take 2345 to the power of 1, it's still going to be equal to 1. Next, 1 to any power is always equal to 1. Because no matter how many times you multiply 1 by itself, it's still going to be 1. And another one is when you raise a number to the exponent of 1, it's just going to be that number. So the base to the power of 1 is equal to the base itself. Now let's continue with general exponent laws. So if I have the same base and I multiply two of the same bases with the same or different exponents, then I will keep the base and add the exponents. If I have the same base with two different exponents and I want to divide those two bases with two of the same or different exponents, I will subtract the exponents and keep the base. So note that you're not multiplying the base by itself because it's just that number that you are multiplying by itself a number of times. So you're not changing that value. You're only changing the number of times you're multiplying it by itself. But the base has to stay the same. Next, if I have a base raised to the exponent m, and then I'm raising it again to the exponent n, then this is called the power of a power rule or law. And I'll keep the base and this time we'll multiply the exponent. m times n. Next, if I have the base to the power of, uh, to the power of m that is negative, then I need to flip the base and when we flip the base we call it a reciprocal of the base so we take a reciprocal number of the given base if this was a fraction I would turn it into a whole number since this is a whole number I'm turning it into a fraction with the, denom with the denominator of the base and the numerator of 1 and I'm raising it to the positive exponent m. So no more negatives, just a positive exponent m. One more important, important law to remember is this one. When your base is a fraction and it's raised to the exponent m, then it means that every part of the fraction needs to be raised to that exponent separately. The numerator and the denominator. So that equals a to the m b to the m. For example, if you have a fraction 2 over 3 to the power of 3, it means that it's 2 cubed and 3 cubed. So that equals 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So the answer is 8 over 27. When you are dividing by a certain denominator, a or b, 
or you make a reciprocal of a fraction, make sure that your denominator is not equal to zero because you can never divide by zero. This is it for today. This is the end of lesson one of grade nine. You have a lot of practice to complete, so please go ahead and finish it after the lesson, and I will see you again next time in lesson two. Thank you.